Hello, and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. The term teratogenicity is going to be discussed today. Teratogens are defined as any substance or condition that can cause a birth defect or foetal abnormality that is not inherited, and the condition itself is known as teratogenicity. Because the placenta does not function as a solid barrier, it is possible for any substance to pass through it, albeit to varying degrees. The severity of the effects that teratogens will have on an embryo is determined by a number of factors, including the length of time that the embryo has been exposed to the teratogen and the stage of development that the embryo was in when it was exposed. The individual genes that make up an embryo and the rate at which the teratogen is passed on. It is possible for the drug or the teratogen to have an effect on the foetus during stage 3. Fertilization and implantation are the stages up to 17 days after conception that determine whether or not a pregnancy will be successful. Number 2. The organogenesis stage, which occurs between weeks 18 and 55 of gestation and is the most precarious time for the development of birth defects. Third, the process of maturation and expansion. After 56 days, developmental and functional abnormalities may begin to show themselves. There are certain teratogens or medications that have the potential to cause these abnormalities. For example, the number one, a CE inhibitors, which have the potential to cause hypoplasia in organs, such as lung kidney. Number two, the NSAID group of medications, which includes those that have the potential to cause an early closure of the ductus arteriosus. Androgens and progestins are the third factor that can lead to the masculinization of a developing female foetus. Four, antithyroid medications and lithium have been linked to the development of photal goiter. We appreciate you taking the time to watch the video.